hello 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 so i am going to be doing this video this little tutorial um upon request of uh someone who asked me to show them how i use the platform um i'm going to show you guys today how i use it so as some of you know um from my post that i put i am a notary and a loan signing agent so i was thinking about putting a couple of videos on here um about how i go about being a notary right um and for those of you who are loan signing agents or are thinking of being loan signing agents as well so um i mean if you want to see more of that as well then hey let me know in the comments okay so this is a blue notary us and i like using this platform as you can see here because it's very easy um and for anyone starting off, it's very easy as well. I believe to utilize, there are just a couple of things that you got to dig into and questions that you got to ask, which I'll let you know about. But when you go on the site here, of course, you would type in Blue Notary in Google. And it's really one of the first that pops up. It has this little fire emoji. Um, and it's also fairly new. It's not like new, new anymore, but it's fair. It's newer than a lot of the other ones. Um, so... You'll type that in. This is the home page that will come up and then you're going to choose right for what you want to use it for. So, of course, you know, I'm a notary, so I chose for notaries. So here, when you click on for notaries, um, it's going to show you about, you know, how to use it pretty much um, for performing general notarizations. And then when you scroll down, these are the two plans. Um you know, and of course, anything that I review, I'm going to keep it real with you guys because I do love to help people and I love to help people with information. I believe that there is enough room for all of us to grow, to succeed. It just depends on who really wants to succeed. So these are the plans for independent notaries. So this is GNW means general notary work. And this is their high pro hybrid plan. Um, and then it explains here underneath the plans what you get for it. Now, I had so many questions as to why this is free. I was really asking, like, why? Why is this free? Um, it went. It seems like it went down because when I first signed up, it was 20. Excuse any any um, noise you might hear in the background, guys. But it seems like it might have went down because it was twenty five dollars. But it says with the free, it, they did change it a little bit. I guess maybe because they were fairly new, they were kind of like running a deal, but the free one, it was 25. So now they're saying it's $22 for each notarization that you get right off the back. And $3 goes to um, KBA and ID expenses. Even if your state max is less than 22, you still get paid 22, right? And you earn $4 for each additional seal. So for example, it's 25 but now what what happens is um you're not getting the full the full 25 sent to your account you're getting the 22 sent to your account but the three out of that 25 is going to go towards the the kd and id verify verification i'm sorry the kba id and verification expenses right which if you're doing something really quick like something that's going to take you 10 minutes you know, I $22 is still really good for at least in the state of New York because one one signature is $2. You legally you cannot charge in terms of charging for the seal the seal itself, it's not more than $2 in the state of New York. So that's still good for for a one page or something that'll take you 10 minutes because you know, if you you get a couple of those every day, it adds up. You know what I'm saying? So you can make a good hundred something dollars in in um, less than an hour. <laughs> so that's really good um, to be free, right? For a free platform. So uh, again, you can go on it and you can read that this extra stuff down here at the bottom. Then you have the pro hybrid. Now with the pro hybrid, if you want to charge your own price, right? Because you have your seal, but then you have other additional fees that you may be adding on to that in order to charge your own price on here or send um send an send the client up, up like an invoice with your personal pricing you would need the high pro hybrid plan and also to add extra uh signers 
and things of that nature, um, you need the pro hybrid hybrid plan as well. You still get the $22 for the notarization, but some of the other fees are, are different. Um, and then you also have your, your loan signings as well, um, that are a bit different with the pro hybrid plan. And also here on blue notary, um, for me, it seems that they need to do a little bit of updating because I feel like there's a glitch. It doesn't seem like it's just my computer because I've tried more than one computer, but there's a glitch because you can get clients. Um, and I'll show you where to do that. So you can get, um, clients for, for, for either signings or, or to be a witness, I should say. Um, and yeah, you know, I'll give you more detail on that. But when you scroll down here, you'll see, it gives you the steps on how to do, you know, how it works pretty much in doing an online notarization. All right. Now let's move on to the nitty gritty. You're going to go to log in. As you can see right here, I have my login information already. So once you create one, once you register and create that, then you're going to go to log in. You're going to log in. And this is how, this is how your dashboard looks. Okay. If anybody else's dashboard looks different, uh, let me know, <laughs> but this is how your dashboard will look. And, um, right here it says recent open calls. Those were calls that came in for, um, asking, you know, to be a witness and people pick them up fairly quickly. So that's why I said, I think there's a glitch because I get the email notifications. However, I don't see them on here. And like, like I said, guys, I'm giving you my honest opinion, but for, to have a free platform, you know, when you're, if you're using the free one, I mean, I think it's pretty good, especially if you're very new, I think it's easy to understand. But when you start getting into the other technicalities of, of like, so you're doing a lot. Like I had a case where I was doing six, I had six signers. So two of them were witnesses and four were actual signers. Um, I bought the pro hybrid, but the thing is I didn't realize, um, it wasn't fully detailed right on here that you need. It does, it does say that the other signers have to use, um, I think they need either a separate email or, or something to that extent. But what happens is it's kind of tricky because I'm not even going to get on into all of that, guys. I don't want to waste up, waste your time, but it's, it's a little tricky. You know what I'm saying? However, that didn't cause me to throw away the whole site. All right. So I'm not going to downplay Blue Notary because Blue Notary, I feel like it is, especially for newbies, it's easy, fairly easy to use, understand, like, especially when you go into the live session, um, I would, I would recommend it if you're starting out. Right. Um, so another thing, uh, is this is where you invite the signer right here. So you have your, your, your dashboard page. And then if you want to invite a signer, you know, into a session, you would click here and then it would say, invite a signer. Right. So, so a little side note, anytime, I'm doing a notarization, whether it's online or in person, have a conversation with the person. Okay. Have a conversation with the person to, so that you can number one, I don't do any notarization without them sending me the documents first, because I want to make sure that I'm prepared that I, that I, uh, it's of course, it's not my job to make sure that the document is valid. However, I want to know in advance what I am notarizing. I want to actually look at it. So that way I'm fully prepared and I just feel more secure that way before I actually notarize the document. Like I want to know what it looks like. I want to know if the right notarial wording is on it. You know, sometimes the client, a lot of times the client will not know that, you know, so I want to be, you know, make sure I have, you know, extra certificates if, if need be. I want to see exactly how many stamps are needed on there, you know, a few things so that we can get all the kinks out of the way. That way, when you meet the person, it's less time, right? So this is what I do. Once I get all of that established, I make sure I have the person's email address. I put their name, their email. Um, if you have multiple signers, like I said, you probably most likely have to get the hybrid 
right now I'm on the hybrid. Um, but with the free one, uh, I can't remember if it will, if it will allow you to do multiple or not. I know even, even if you can, it's, it's only like one extra person or something to that nature. But, uh, here, uh, you can add, uh, there's witnesses and then you can t type the, the session type. It's, if it's a general notary work or loan signing, right. Then this now if you are on the free plan this here would be grayed out you would not be able to choose this but since i'm on the hybrid plan right now um i can choose to invoice the client outside of blue notary so that way i give the person my own price um if you're if you're not then you have to go according to the prices that are on blue notary right then uh the authentic the authentication authentication mode to verify their ID, I just put in session authorization flow. Do not skip the session. Um, I would just say because, you know, just have them authenticate themselves. And then um, the type of authentication for session. Um, I always choose this US citizens plus KBA. I don't allow the user to choose. I haven't really gotten into this biometrics thing yet. So once I figure, you know, kind of read more, or look up more about that, I'll figure it out. Then aside from that, uh, you select the meeting date and time, which of course you would have confirmed in the conversation prior to. Then here, the document type, okay, they have like four here, but if it's not there, the person should have emailed you the document if you requested it in advance. And if you have it saved on your computer, you can upload it right here. Upload the client's document and you can choose, okay? And then you send the invite and it will go there. And then what happens is when the session time is coming up or whatever, the person will go into it. It will ask them a few questions. It will have them verify themselves, go through, you know, a series of steps, not too long. And then they will come inside the video with you. Now... This is the journal here. I'm going to show you. This is the journal. So I'm going to click on, you know, when you're finished, you can archive it. So I have some archived. So these three here were kind of, they weren't actual sessions, but these two were actual se sessions um, that I did. And um, yeah, so what happens is when you, once you complete the session, it will say complete. And if the, the person's payment has gone through, it will send the signed document to the client. If the payment did not go through, it would have an error message in your journal and it would let you know that, it, you know, it won't send. It's not going to send the document to the client unless the payment has gone through, which I like. Right. Because because a lot of times if the person has gotten the document before payment, chances are. Uh, they're not going to pay you if, if it if it went through right if it sent it to them before payment so i like the fact that it does not send them the document until their card payment has gone through okay so so that's that right um it will show here so these two are completed and this this one was 25 dollars. this one here was 25 dollars. okay um and then you have your reports, right? So let's go to one year. Total is, you know, it will show you these different things. Total completed sessions too, right? Because there were two, of course, you know, so it'll show you that. Then it has like, you know, it has some templates here. Um, and then, you know, it has your dashboard, okay? Um, if you want me to do... A video okay on the actual um, in session part um, let me know okay but but this pretty much this is how blue notary works um, I could do another video let me know in the comment box of how an actual in session uh, video um, you know is done so uh, you know that's pre that's pretty much it in terms of like using blue notary they have a session simulator they have uh live call scripts 
you know, things that you can say and prepare yourself for a few training videos here in terms of um, certain aspects of how to use Blue Notary. There's a Facebook group. And then there's a chat box right here where you can ask questions. Um, this session simulator, when you click on it, it opens up here. So it's, you know, this is like a, this is, ex this is an example here. All right. This is just an example here of like a fake sim simulated session, but you know, that's about it. You know, you go back, come out of that and you're in your dashboard. So I hope you guys got some valuable information from this video. Definitely let me know if you want to hear more. All right.